Chicken Rice. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to prepare one of my favorite Nyonya Kuehs, Kueh Binka Ubi Kayu or Baked Tapioca Cake. Nyonya Kuehs can be quite tedious to prepare because it involves a lot of layering and steaming. This one is relatively simple and requires only a few ingredients. Let's get started. One of the best ways to incorporate pandan flavour and fragrance into a dish is to infuse it in its cooking liquid. Here, I'm going to heat up one can of coconut milk, about 14 fluid ounces or 400 ml. With one cup of granulated sugar, about 210 grams. And this is two pandan leaves, shredded and knotted. I'm just going to heat this for 2 to 3 minutes until the sugar has dissolved and the pandan flavour is infused in the coconut milk. Once the coconut milk comes to a boil and the sugar has dissolved, we can turn off the stove. Then I'm going to allow it to cool while we prepare the other ingredients. For this recipe, we need 2 pounds of grated tapioca. Here I have two large eggs. I'm just going to beat it lightly. And add it to the tapioca. This is two tablespoons of melted butter. Then we are also going to add in our prepared coconut milk. We'll remove the pandan leaves first and pour it into the mixture. Then stir to incorporate all the ingredients. I've prepared a loaf pan here lined with banana leaves. If you do not have banana leaves, you can simply grease the pan. Then I'm going to pour this tapioca mixture into the pan. This will go into 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit oven for about one and a quarter to one and a half hours. It did take one and a half hours for this Kueh Binka to achieve the golden coloured top. It smells really fragrant and I can't wait to taste it. Now I'm going to allow it to cool before cutting and serving. Time to give our Kueh Binka a taste test. Mm, so good. It's tender, not too sweet, and quite fragrant. I hope you'll give it a try. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon. And as always, happy cooking and thank you for watching.